up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Hey, keep watching. Uh, I'm going on live. <clears throat> what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, I'm real quick, I'm going to post up some stuff so people know that I am live. Let's go into group. RK live on the tube. Link in comments. I was trying to get it done before I finished, but if you would, co comment comment down wherever you're down below is and let me know where you're watching from and say hi. So we're going to be tooling a, uh, a, a sheath, a belt sheath for a small pocket knife. Um, and while I go into it, I'll explain why and, and where and... Uh, pin to featured and comment. Come on. I want to scan text. Copy link. Paste. Go. All right. So y'all should be able to see that I'm live now if you're watching on. Facebook. Um, yeah. Page story. Boom. There we go. All right. So we're live. It says I have one view. Hello, whoever's watching. Um, right now, I'm, I have the camera. I'm sitting. I actually have everything set right over here. But I wanted to uh, give you guys a, a, a shot there. So um, let me make sure that my volume is set right. Let's take a look. And make sure everything's working right. It's one of those things you're just going to make sure everything's working right before you do it. And... Uh, What's up, Betty? Nice. I can turn this off. And I can set this so I can see the comments. So because my screen is up there, you guys get to see my nice bald head. I'm actually looking down below to keep an eye on comments so I can see if people are commenting. Um, let's switch to the Mevo. You guys can see the overhead shot, um, and I will get this other camera set for the not overhead shot. Right now we have 242 subscribers. Um, let's see if I gave that shot right. So there's one shot for you guys. There's another shot for you. You guys just got to tell me which one works the best, and I will try to go between the three cameras. Uh, so this is the knife sheath we're going to make. It is a, um, it's a pattern from, or, or it's a template from uh, Maker's Leather Supply. It's a, a good little template. Um, normally I would use a pencil. I just feel like using this nice little pen. I'm just going to do this quick with it to give me an outline. And I'm going to outline these guys here and this guy here so that's part of it we're gonna flip it over and figure out which way to use the least amount of leather waste I guess it's really not gonna matter on this one I just cut it so we can see it and we will trace this one. I found this pen sitting on a desk next to my desk. And I said, wow, this is a really nice pen. Um, so the story behind this knife sheath here is, uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Um, the, I had a customer come through with their son 
and their son wanted a, uh, let's see if I can get a better shot here, guys. Hang on one second. Oh, look at that leg. Woo! All right. So that one's a little bit better. Let's see if we can zoom this one in. Okay. So I get a little bit better of a shot rather than just the Mevo overhead shot, which, you know what, we can zoom that in too. I don't want you guys to feel like you're far away from me. So far away from me, so far away from me. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um, so now we're going to use the, the large knife stitch lines. So we're going to lay this in here and get the... Uh, get it lined up and I'm not going to draw on this one but I am going to score it so that way but I'm not going to go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom because well I don't want to mess up my I went a little too far there darn it uh, I don't want to mess up where I mm, I didn't want to do this either oh well So that's going to be the stitch line there. Um, I have been, I don't want to say messing up this one lately, because uh, I haven't. Um, but I've been using this as a template to like move it up and give the spacing. But you can see the spacing, um, the spacing is not correct on that. Um, so, um, I'm just listening to a, a phone call. Now what I am going to do, so, uh, I am going to add this little guy here and I'll do just really light scoring with this one. Because this is going to be where my uh, logo will go on the back. And I'll just real lightly score it. Just because I want to put my logo right there in the middle. Um, and that's the easiest way is I can just mark it with that. Um, so I'm going to cut the bottom off of this. And I'm going to use a stitch a, a, a wing divider to give me the distance I want for stitching and I'm going to double it and make it for the bottom of of where I'm going to draw and I'm going to mark in just a little bit on each side of this stitch line because this is going to be a stitch line right here I think you guys can see it um, so that's going to be a stitch line and that's going to be a stitch line <clears throat> so I want to put the drawing or whatever I'm going to tool in there just uh, just a hair in so I'm going to probably do about an eighth of an inch maybe three sixteenths but probably just a little bit less um, but I am going to cut the bottom off of this now uh, this mat that I have is not really set for using anything but a roller blade it is a self healing mat um, but the only thing that's really good with it is a roller blade um, and not the ones that you wear that you wear on your feet but the ones that uh, that cut and I'm trying to get that there's some sticky stuff on my oh what the um, there's some sticky stuff on my on my mat um, so I'll just throw on another cutting mat real quick and we'll be able to do some cutting and if you have any questions I think you're still watching if you have any questions let me know so I'm just gonna for 
separate these so I don't have to mess with that one. But I am going to cut. Which way will be good? Let's go with the Mevo camera. Sometimes I find myself wobbling the blade, so I'm trying to get used to just cutting the way it's supposed to. Normally I wouldn't even do this this close, but I've not figured out a good way yet to mark my inside stitching line yet. So that's the only reason I'm really it really is the only reason I'm doing this. Um, and by all means, if you just pull off the bottom, you can cut straight lines. You can cut a curve with straight lines. And that's kind of what I'm going to do here. Um, If I'm not careful, I'll cut right through where I shouldn't. And if I feel like, if you, if, if you tell me, tell me if you, if you think I'm chomping my gum too loud, because I did put some gum in, and I probably shouldn't, but I don't always follow the rules. So I'm really not worried about, like, there's a couple pieces just straggling. I am going to sand the edges. So I'm not really too, too worried about those pieces. Um, but I do have that done. So now I'm going to pu pull up my wing divider. Uh, you need to come to my outpost meeting to help my boys to make a sheath for knives they made last year. Yeah, we can figure that out. Um, it would probably have to be uh, a Saturday event. Um, maybe... Uh, send me a message. It may have to be more than one day because um, you can't really do a whole knife sheath in a day. And I can talk to a local place out there and see if they'll help sponsor some stuff. Um, but I guess as I normally do, like a 3 sixteenths of an inch stitching. So uh, that's really nice with this mat. I can just pull up and go... Well, it's more than an eighth, and, and I can just do it that way too. Um, or I can just look at the one that I'm wearing and see. But I've pretty much um, figured out that's actually what I do almost all the time. If you don't keep this at a 90 degree, you'll mess up the distance. So you always have to be conscious of the 90 degree mark. Which is why I now do this part before I go much further. Because um, if not, it will, the stitching line ends up looking kind of funky. And I've only done that uh, a couple times now. So um, now I'm going to move this line in the same distance as that. So I think I'm just going to go. I want the, um, I, let's try five sixteenths of an inch and see what that looks like, which means that I'll move in let's see, so that'll just move in an eighth, I think. Yep, that'll pull this in an eighth and pull this in an eighth. And I think should be able to use this hmm. uh, kind of if I slide it over I can make it work as the top I don't know if you guys can see so if, if it's this way you see the spacing is not the same there as it is there but if I move it over I can get the same spacing mostly so I think I'm just gonna go with that as the Ooh, as the approximate of where I want to space it, which actually, if I move it an eighth that way, it'll give me the correct spacing. So, we'll do that in a minute.
Nope, I gotta do it now. I can do an eighth because I need to give it here, here. So um, there was a boy that came through my my store this past weekend, and he uh, he wanted a. Um, I gotta move that light. He wanted a. Uh, Yeah, we can do that. Um, so the boy wanted a, a, a knife sheath, but we really didn't have any. Let me do this one first. We really didn't have any knife sheaths in there, so he used one of our uh, cast iron pot holders. And that really didn't. Oh, my ID is not going to work. I'll make it work. We'll give it that much spacing up there. Yeah. We'll just give it a little more spacing up top. Um, so I said, if it doesn't work for your knife, let me know, and I'll make you a sheath. So we are making him... A sheath and I just went past my line there. Darn it. We'll make it work. And now this one at five sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. Um, are all the knives basically the same size? That's actually an important question. Um, so if they're all the same size, then, um, well, are they all the same size? And then we can go to the next. Um, we can go to the next item up for question let's look at something quick So if they're all the same size, do you have one of those? If you have one, that'll actually help out. Um, that'll help out with the next question. Okay, so we're here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some of this extra stuff because I don't feel like dealing with that. So we'll pop those over there. Um, all right. Now we're going to take because he he got the one he got a pot holder that has this flame on it so we're going to try to take that flame and put as much of it inside that little area and it should just about fit i just have to figure out how to make some of the curves refit in there correctly and while I was working, I realized I still have some of my um, tracing paper, which I haven't pulled out, but it looks like that's for my chaps. And those are for, okay, very cool. These are for some of my old uh, trays. 
and uh, that's for the shops. So that's cool. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of this paper off here and I haven't even opened this thing. <laughs> Sorry, you guys can't really see what I'm playing with. Oh, wait. Yes, I have. There's more than one roll. I thought there was. Yeah, I will. Um, I'll send you a link. Well, I don't have a link yet, but we can figure out. Uh, I have to do some testing on, on those sizes to make sure that the size is correct. I have a, a, a Lodge um, cast iron, and it doesn't seem to um, – it, it, I don't think it fits for a Lodge, which is super weird. But I will be making some more – that I know will fit. They'll just be a little bit bigger than what they need to be. But then they'll be guaranteed to fit. Now, normally I don't do uh, tracing like this and drawings and stuff like that. But um, I do know that I'm going to have some hard time making this fit. This is a Don Gonzalez pattern. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on my tracing paper this is the size that I need um, I threw this idea together I was like hey you know what I don't feel like doing the work I'm supposed to do but I do need to make one of these so uh, I'm gonna make one of those so um, technically this is not what I'm supposed to be working on I'm supposed to be working on something totally different. Um, that would be why we don't use that marker. Because now it's coming off. It's going to be all over my fingers. use pencil um, but yeah so I'll just need to make a pattern for the knife sheaths so that way it'll be easy we won't be uh, prototyping a knife sheath we can just go and make it um, I may even be able to use um, a location down there to put on the event and I don't know we'll figure it out if it's a late night we'll have to find me a place to stay um, but we can figure that out this conversation's turning into a let's hang out with Eddie night which is totally cool with me because at least I have somebody to talk to so now I need to associate the flames. I don't care about going up here, but I want to try to trace these flames in the best I can. Tracing like this in a while. Look at I even stopped talking. How do you shut roadkill up? <laughs> Oops, sorry. Have him start tracing something. He'll he'll stop talking pretty quick, and then he, once he realizes it, he'll start talking again.
Now, the one thing I will say, that I'll, that one thing I'll never say is that I'm an artist. Believe it or not, I don't believe I'm an artist. Now I'm going to move down and see if I can connect any of these bottom circles. And I don't have any eraser. Oh, man. I hope I don't have to go old school on this and make the eraser work. <laughs> I haven't been in a tent in uh, 2019. Camper, um, not Camperama, but 2019 was the last time I was in a tent in green. North Carolina. Oh, man. I didn't want to smash it off, but... But I did get the eraser out. I just want to erase hmm. let's get rid of this side here Get rid of this side here. This is where it would be really handy if I was more of an artiste. You know what? I'm going to just continue on with this and we'll stop it where it needs to stop and the flames will just start at the bottom no extra loops I'm not gonna try to figure that out that will confuse me way too much and it'll still look fine Okay, so we're just going to have the flame start at the bottom, and that's going to be okay. Add a little water to it. All right, Eddie. Yeah, stop back in. I'll be here for a, I'll be here for a while, I think. Sorry if I'm black. Let me see if I can find another camera view. I think we 
should be able to go right to that one. Nope, to that one. It's a little washed out, but... I don't know what that was. That was some type of Facebook message. It was a Facebook message. I'm smart. Well, good. You guys can see what's going on now. There it is. I'm just going to clean my hands real quick, see if I can get some of this uh, try and make sure I get some of the uh, graphite off so that way I don't have any of that get stuck on there. Because that, excuse me, that wouldn't be a, a good thing. Probably should sit correctly or my butt's going to hurt later. Alright, let's grab some uh, some tooling tools. We'll wet this a little bit more. Uh, I'm a spray bottle type of... of wetter um it really it, it, there's it's just preference and i prefer to do that style um it's really completely up to you how you want to do uh any of those um so to be honest it's <clears throat> to me i just prefer to do uh, a spray bottle you could do casing all different ways uh, but to me, that's just the way that I that I do it. There's nothing wrong with any way. Um, some people just do it different, and that's this is just the way that I prefer to do it. Um, 
sometimes you learn a little different and that's one of those things that I've learned different and uh, I don't want to say there's any real wrong way to do it but This is where you turn down the radio so you can see better. That's what this is right here. If I went a little bit wider on the flames, I would have had them go outside of uh, the border, but they didn't, so we're good. Can you guys see what I'm... Um, don't fall over. Boy, I asked these tripods to do a lot of work for me. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Come on, get back up there. Tighten yourself up. Stop your moving. Okay, go down just a little bit more, though. A little bit more. A little bit more. There, now stay. If you guys... Alright, I'm going to try to adjust so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to be working almost directly under this camera right here. So, you know, this is this is what we do to get the shot. Do it for the vine. That's an old saying. I guess it really doesn't count, vine. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a I think it's a Dwayne Watts blade um, and swivel knife, which makes life really easy, but it's kind of cheating at the same time. See how close I got there? I should have left room. Trying to get you guys the best shot, but still be able to work. So, I apologize if it's like my fingers in the way. Kind of have to do it at times. I'm gonna let that one come off the edge. You'll see why I did a little bit of a closeness there. So this is actually like Maybe this is therapy for me. I think, I 
think I'm going to background all of background. And you'll see what I mean when I say that, but I think it's going to look a little bit better. Not that what I did before doesn't look good, but I feel like this one will look a little bit cooler. to bring home headphones or something because I really want to listen to music. I got everything. What do you guys think so far? I don't think I'll be able to keep this view while I'm tooling. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go back up to the Mevo camera while I'm tooling. Um, I can try, but I really don't think I'm going to have much of a choice in the matter. And... Uh, I'm going to have to give, because right now, you guys can probably see in the camera, you can see the top of it, which means that the camera is just about, well, it's not just about, it is in the way of me being able to use my mallet and hammer that down. So, uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to move it. I'm going to have to ask you to kindly move. You have to move. Um, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Let me find, I'm looking for one more tool. I don't know where it is. It's, it's one of, it's got to be in here. You know what? It probably fell out. Nope, oh, there it is. Okay, these are the, let's go to the Mevo camera here. Let's see who else is watching. Do I have anybody? I have two concurrent viewers. Uh, let's go to the Mevo camera. Let's move this out of the way. Tip this up a little bit. See if that will get back in the view. Wrong camera. Okay, so that should that should work. And I gotta move the light to underneath it. Okay, I don't want to do the light too close to underneath it but I need to, so, all right, there it is, let's spray one more time, or as a YouTuber I know, let us spray. Okay, so that is there, uh, I'm going to just background most of this. But I'm also going to, um, and I have to let it, excuse me, let it dry a little bit. Um, sorry, I'm thirsty. Uh, so I have two people watching. Go ahead and comment up. I think I know who the other one is, but I don't know for sure. 
Um, so hopefully, hopefully I can tell who is watching and I can say hi. Uh, otherwise, so right now I'm just letting it, um, letting it get a little bit not so wet. And let's begin. This is where we do, we get to do some banging. And the reason I like to cut the pieces off is because when it gets to doing this stuff, having access to being able to just let it spin around is so much nicer a um, little more freeing with the control of being able just to turn it if not I'd have to like it's where it's, it's harder with the big pieces. You actually have to to not turn the big pieces as easily. And you learn. You learn how to how to do it right. And I'm not saying this isn't right. But you learn how to make it work. What I forgot to do, I forgot to pin pin this comment right here. Pin it. There we go. I thought it was you, Josiah. What's up, buddy? Good to uh, good to see you back at one of my lives. Um, I don't. I, I'm I'm working on. If I'm going to go lives much in the group, um, there'll be a video out here soon on, on why I'm not live in the, in the group. And I do more over here on this platform. But don't forget to check out. There is a community tab in this. So you can actually, um, you can actually see... Oh, nice. Watching on the big screen. That's cool. Um, so there's there's a way to, to comment um, on posts. I can make posts in a, in a community tab. So it's kind of the same thing as, as a group. Um, kind of, but not really uh, because it's YouTube. But I can post up pictures in there, and I have. Um, I posted up comments. Uh, I usually will reply to most comments that I get on any of the videos. Um, these are, are live videos, so I'll, I'll comment while I'm, I'm live. But otherwise, I'll also comment afterwards if you're watching like one of my weekly updates or something like that. Um, so... I love the fact that you're watching on your big screen. I'll try to make it entertaining. I wish there was some background music I can play. 
but um, there's some some catches to some of the music that YouTube will like give you. Uh, there's some catches on that. There's some. So I just decided to go without music and um, yeah. And no, I'm not leaving. The, you know, we'll still have the group. I'm not getting rid of the group, anything like that. It's just we're going to do more on YouTube for now. Okay, I'm still in the video if I'm over here. I'm like, am I still in? Sorry. Um, I think I could. I, I think I could still do a same style auction like we did before. So I can do like a live auction uh, with the comments, but you guys would have to, because I can't PM you guys in here. So somebody else, you know, would have to be helping with it. But I think I could still do like the sales like we did in the group over here. Now I do know that there is a probably a five to seven, maybe 10 second delay right off the bat for it going from the program that I'm using to go live to when it goes live. Um, and I watch that every time I start up. I'm like, man, that's a delay there. But it's not anything that we can't work around that we haven't worked around before while doing the, the fun shenanigans on a live video. But if you didn't hear the story earlier, um, a boy came to me and bought a, a hot plate handle, a uh, cast iron handle, and uh, I, I told the mom if it doesn't fit, let me know and we will make another, make something else to replace it. Well, I already knew that I had this sheath right here in mind. Um, I'm supposed to be working on some other stuff, but I have Friday off, so I will come in here and work on those things. I mean, I still have Wednesday, Thursday to, to work on those things too, but Friday I'm going to work on those things. Uh, Christmas stockings are coming, so that's a, a good thing. i got to work on some of those. Uh, I gotta get this briefcase done. I have to get at least one briefcase done because I have an order for it. Um, so I, I, I have to get that done. Uh, otherwise, the other briefcases I'm just gonna use is shop stock. And uh, I've been doing weekend sales every. Uh, let's see. Those all stay. I gotta get in there. Uh, I've been doing weekend sales down at a local farmers market. Been doing, doing good down there. There's a playlist in uh, that I have, and it's called All Videos. So if you're bored, <laughs> go ahead and watch all the videos um actually what i what i like to say is just turn it on at night and go to bed in the morning you'll have watched most of the videos and uh that helps me out commenting really helps out of course and uh liking helps out but i'm trying to grow this page this this youtube channel um, and then once I get to a certain goal that I have in my head, then, um, I'm going to pull out an app called Restream, which will allow me to stream it more than one, um, oh, that was close, more than one social, one, more than one place at a time. So I'll be able to, uh, to do YouTube and um, 
the Facebook and uh, it'll get me more out there but I'm, I'm trying to hit a certain number of of things on YouTube before I do any of that we may we well I'm at an hour now I don't know if I'm gonna go more than eh, I probably won't go past eight o'clock We'll see. See how I feel. See where where I'm at with this. A lot of people enjoy watching this type of stuff. I didn't get many views while I was making the briefcase. Of course, I was just cutting the briefcase, and there's really nothing fun about it. But like this, you get to see a, a finished product coming along, and uh, you know that is actually kind of cool when you get to see a product get finished so I do understand that sometimes you gotta stop talking for a minute and figure out where what lines you're supposed to be following and what lines you are not following because if not, you really start messing up what you got. So GoPros are good for doing these videos. But they are no good for doing my live update videos. Because, well, they decided to not want to play nice. And it's still not fixed. So I don't believe I'll be recording many videos with the GoPro until they decide to fix that app. All right, so all of the background is done. Um, I can actually, and I may, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to go into this. Um, it, it's going to be worth way more than what um, what I'm getting paid so I don't mind so I, I, I'll I'll do it because I don't mind when you see a kid's face and he gets to get it and he doesn't really know why the, the one doesn't fit So I just don't know how much I want to put into this because I can make the flames a lighter color. I can stain all the background areas. Let's do these first. We got four viewers. This is awesome. So who's watching? I got three concurrent, seven views total. But according to my thing, I got four viewers. So who are the three people that are watching? I know Josiah. Well, I think Josiah is still watching. So there's a program called Restream that will allow me to stream this on <clears throat> on any or, or all, well, I think any uh, 
place I can go live. I don't think it'll let me go on Instagram, but I think it'll let me go on a lot of the other ones simultaneously. But right now, like I, I alluded to earlier, I'm trying to reach a certain reach a certain step in this process prior to uh, switching and, and letting it stream to everything. Well, just three people, and they don't want to talk. <laughs> see if I can give you guys a different view for a little bit. Let's head up to the Mevo camera. I don't know if that's actually going to be better for you. We'll just do it for a little bit. What do you guys think so far? Let's see if I can pull it up. And... Looks pretty cool. Put it back down on the light. Let's switch back over to. Uh... Let's see. If we... I haven't pulled up this camera in a while, but now you can see some pretty good. I actually thought that ink was black. I guess it's blue. Try to pull it out a little bit away from the light. Feel free to ask what the process is or 
what I'm doing or why I'm doing. If I'm not live, I'll answer you after the fact. Hard part is is when you start getting in this groove. That when you have music on, you start messing it up because you're playing, you're hitting to the music. That's where it becomes fun. Usually, it's some type of Latin music and. Maybe I'll make this a, a few part series. So the leather that we're using is uh, easily said it's a cow. Um, it's from a cow. The easier way to say it after that is it's a veg tan leather. Uh, so the veg tan is just a different way that they tan the leather. Um, the way they make this leather. they Veg tan's been around for years, years and years and years. I don't even know. I'd have to do some research to see, like, when did veg tan leather come about? Because um, I don't even know. But a veg tan leather is always this, typically this color. Um, or there a, a, a sh shades of this color. So it's close to this color. It may not always be exactly this color, but it's shades of this color. Um, it, it differs in the fact that this, you're able to do tooling and staining of this leather. Uh, some of the other leather that I have, and I will show you momentarily, um, is like the piece I'm going to show you first. Let me just finish this round here, and then I will pause for a... A leather identification break. Um, and trust me, 
I can use the brake because my hand is starting to get a little bit sore. And even though I don't have the heat on in here, I'm getting warm. So I'm going to set it down. Let me switch to an Amiibo camera. Take the mic and mount it to my regular belt here. Take off this flannel. It's actually kind of cool. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's 54 degrees right now. So it is kind of chilly here. Uh, not, not completely, but kind of chilly. Um, so this piece that I'm going to show you and this piece I'm going to show you are the two different types that I have. So we have three different types. You have an oil tan leather. You have a chrome tan leather. And then you have a veg tan leather. This one is the veg tan leather. This one is an oil tan leather. Uh, this one will turn into be a wallet, um, kind of like our giveaway wallet that looks like that. So that will be a wallet. Uh, yes, I said giveaway wallet. Keep an eye out on the group for a giveaway. I'm going to give away this wallet right here. Uh, one of my favorite leathers, but which I believe is an oil tan leather. It's the same as what my... Uh, apron is. So this is an oil tan leather and it is tanned with, um, this way you can see a little bit better, it has um, it, it has oils in it. This one is a chrome tan leather and you can see like when I do that it's got a waxy pull up it's called and I'll make my briefcases out of this, I'll make my big bags out of this. So I'll make the bags and briefcases out of this and wallets, and I'll make bags and briefcases, well, no briefcases, I'll make bags and wallets out of this stuff, and another item that you guys will see soon in the group. So that's the three types of leather that we have. Uh, I wanted to finish that before I went on to the next question, which is the embossing permanent. Um, it's not, the technical term for it is tooling, and yes, uh, the tooling is permanent. Um, do certain types of leather emboss better and or hold the embossing better? So an oil tan leather does not hold the tooling the same as a um, as any any. So the oil tan won't hold it. A chrome tan will hold it, but not great. So if you see in this one here, you can see my logo. Um, if that was pressed in, I didn't press anything else in. That was pressed in. That will not stay forever. You start using it. You start putting stuff inside the wallet. Um, as you're moving that leather around, it's going to take that stamping out of it uh, that's just how it works so it will take it out but you'll still be able to see it slightly for a little while um, that is an oil tan leather when you're doing a chrome tan uh, yep, a chrome tan leather um, show you real quick not do it there let's do it down here same thing um, it will it will take it and some of the leathers will take it better than others so you can see it here um, let me see if I can switch to the Mevo camera I mean to the GoPro and uh, you can see that this one here actually really dents the leather 
So this one will stay better because it actually pressed in a lot harder than that one. Um, and there's really a, a big difference. But it all depends. This is a waxy pull-up leather. So it will, but it won't keep it the same. Um, my wallet, let's see. It's not in my pocket. Let me switch back to the Mevo because I kind of like the Mevo camera. Um, my wallet, wherever it may be. Huh. I don't know. Where, oh, there it is. Uh, I've had this wallet for five, six years now. And this is a veg tan leather. And you can see that it still has all of its markings. This here is one stamp. So that's one stamp. So every one of these dimples that come out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, 35, you can see how many stamps I've done on this. So it's all part of, the, and this is a veg tan leather. If I was using a chrome tan or an oil tan, it would not keep like this. But good question. Very good question. Let's uh, carry on with the tooling. Make sure that I'm still damp enough to continue. And uh, let me know if I need to change camera. Per Ooh, wrong stamp. Let me know if I need to change camera positions for you guys. Um, it does have to be wet. And what I'm actually doing is every time I pound on the leather, I'm actually compressing the fibers. And the fibers will stay compressed for a very long time. Uh, if you get it wet, maybe, maybe, don't quote me, maybe the, some of the stuff will come out. But I've yet to see where uh, getting it wet makes it so it doesn't, uh, so the tooling comes out of it. Because I'm sure that wallet has been wet from sweat. Uh, I, I, I can't say, I can't say that I've gone swimming with that wallet can say I've been sweaty with that wallet, but but very good question on, on embossing, and, and it's actually called tooling. Um, so I do have some other leathers that has been embossed, um, and that's a huge plate that will come down and compress the fibers while it's being um, tanned or just after the tannage um, and that's when they would would do that so um, and I have a video someplace talking about that I don't have to find it I think it's part of my 2019 video series that I was working on and you guessed it never finished So in 2019, I took a trip to New York and visited a bunch of leather tanneries and did videos. But as soon as I got back from, from there, I ended up closing my leather shop. So I didn't actually do any. And I, that would have given me a ton of time to do it. But I just was too, uh, I don't want to say depressed, but I very well could have been depressed. So I didn't do any of those videos. Every once in a while I'll check the, the it's actually by temperature now to me. It'll feel cool. If it feels cool then I know it's still wet. So 
that's how I know I can continue on with the tooling because it still feels wet. I think when this is done being tooled, maybe tomorrow I'll do a part two on painting and staining of this project. Got it, 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 got it. Okay, so let me do this. So we may almost be done. Um, What I will do is I will wet it again momentarily, and uh, by wetting it, it makes it malleable, and I will, uh, well, dampen it. I'm not going to say wet it. I'm going to dampen it, and then I will uh, take any of the, the edges that are sticking up with a uh, kind of a what do they call it? It's kind of a putty knife, but it's not a putty knife, but it is a putty knife. Anyway, I'll do it with that tool. And uh, yeah, I think that looks okay at the bottom where I didn't do. Um, here, let's switch cameras. Still three people watching. Thank you, guys. On camera. I'll get the cameras right one of these days. The problem is, is I always, I'll, I'll throw the cameras around into different, um, I'll move the cameras around so that way uh, when I'm, I'm, I'm working, I can just use this camera here, this camera here. I always know which one the Mevo is because it's, it's a certain camera. It looks like that. So um, I apologize for, uh, for that, but that's where that is. Um, it's really weird because there is such a delay on the camera that it's it's amazing the delay that that I see. Um, I need to make sure my battery doesn't die too. Okay, we're good on that. All right, let's go back to uh, let's go back to the GoPro two. So that actually looks pretty cool from uh, from that angle. You can. Trying to get some of that light away from it, you can see. Yeah, that's gonna look. That looks really cool. I like being able to. I like being. No, 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 no! Don't sing that. Um, where is modeling spoon? That's the word. It's a modeling spoon. Sort of a spoon. Sorta, of, sort, sorta. Of. So I use this thing, and I'll I'll flatten it down. But let me let me wet it and talk for a minute, and then uh, we're an hour and twenty five minutes into the video. So we will. We may we may stop this and go with. A part two tomorrow if you guys are around tomorrow we'll do a part two it'll probably start let's see I started this about six it'll probably start around seven a little bit after seven because um, I have a visitor in the shop from six fifteen to about seven so um, with it wet and it's a little bit wetter than I need to so I'm just not gonna push as hard I'll just smooth out these edges like this to give it a little smoother shot. Um, and actually, I'm going to look at something quick. Oop! So I missed it right there. This last piece. But I can't hit it until the leather is not so wet or it will totally go and mess the whole thing up. So, and we don't want that.
but I kind of like my edges here where this comes outside the line where this comes out and the points come out so I, I, I like that look I think it's cool um, and there's a couple other things I want to do on this I'm gonna add some swivel knife marks on this so we'll see if it can we'll let it dry up for a minute and then uh, we'll add some swivel stuff but that's the stitch line so that'll be the stitching at the bottom this will be the stitching that comes up on each side I usually make the large size I don't really care um, I really don't want to make one that's small you can always put a, a small knife in a big but you can't put a big knife in a small so I like making them the big size um, and uh, I'll have to cut the, the bottom off of this one too um, so I could Technically, if I didn't want to put my logo on the back of this piece here, um, I could turn around and just simply, here, let me move this back up here again. Sorry for the shaky cameras. Because there's not so much of a, I'm in a tough spot. I'm at the back side of all the lights. So I just shoved myself in the corner with all the, the cameras. So I could just take this, put it on, on a piece of leather, and glue it down and, and then do that. But if I draw it out, I have a better chance of knowing where it is, and I'll be able to put my logo on that. So we're going to let this continue to dry a little bit. Uh, I do need to put this piece right here needs to be tooled. And then we'll add a little bit of a, we'll touch up anything that I think needs to be touched up. Like right here is a little bit of a touch up. Which I kind of got right there. Uh, this needs a little bit of a touch up here. I shouldn't do it with this one because the point's bad on this piece. because it keeps falling off my table. And when it falls off the table, it smashes the tip, which is no good, as you can imagine. Well, let's put my logo on the bottom back of this one while you guys watch this one dry. And then uh, I'll finish that. Let it air off a little bit. I'll put some swivel marks in there. That'll make it look pretty cool. We'll go with my logo there and right there, I think, will work. How do I get it to fit under there? And there's a rule that you never re-stamp because you'll mess it up if you do it twice. And I think I may have just broken the rule. And let's see if I messed up. I didn't. Cool. So there's the logo in the back. It's centered. It's got little scratch marks to tell me where the center is. Let's see if I can get rid of those a little bit without making it too obvious that I'm getting rid of it. There. So I'll just cut the bottom of this like this, and I'll line up the two bottoms. So I'll cut this up to the corner. I may curve this up a little bit, and then I'll cut this up and then I'll know where to line the two up so we use painters tape on the back side so it doesn't stretch the project 
Um, and uh, it's still feeling pretty good. So the leather just now was not as uh, was was way easier to compress than when I was doing it before. So I'm really cautious about how hard I'm tapping right now because if I hit it hard like I did the other ones, it would go in deeper than. I, I need it to, so I'm just trying to be real cautious and just trying to clean up some of these lines that I have. Um, now we'll grab a sharp swivel knife, and I think I think I have a picture of one like this that I want to kind of make it look right. So let me see if I can find that. It was after I did all of those. I may have deleted it. I must have deleted it. Let's see if I can find. You guys still watching? I'm still here. Are you still here? go to images there was just some some extra ef effects or add-ons that somebody did that I thought looked great and now I'm just trying to uh, mock it I guess so that's what I'm I'm looking for right now um, just to see if I can add a little bit of of texture to it but I don't know if I can find it fast enough well if I find it I may add to to what I have uh, if not then I'll just leave it to what it is so Oh, oh, wait, wait, what, what, there it is. How are you using that? What in the... Oh. All right, guys. Uh, there is three people watching. I don't know why I say it. All right, guys. Um... Hey, guys. Welcome to the channel. My daughter used to do that. It's the funniest thing. I used to pick on her for it, too. Don't start over. What does this button do? Leather goods. All right. So I'm going to make this a two or three part series. Um, we will work on this tomorrow. You may see a little extra uh, 
something something on there. Um, but I don't want to make this too long, and I don't want to lose you guys because I get bored, or you get bored. So we're going to make this a two-part series. Uh, we will come back tomorrow. Uh, should be tomorrow, about 7 o'clock would be my guess for time. Um, right around 7 o'clock. And we will uh, we'll do some tooling. And then... Um, yeah, see that looks different because it was wet. Uh, we'll do some staining. Uh, no tooling. We'll do some staining. Um, I'll show you some of my... Uh, non-contemporary ways of staining. Let's see. Let's go to main PC. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So at 20, sorry, I had to do that countdown. At 20, the camera actually, that the YouTube actually switched over. I changed over 20 seconds earlier. So there's about a 20 second delay in this. Uh, so what we'll do tomorrow, uh, we'll come in. We will do some staining tomorrow. It may not be as long because staining doesn't take as long. Um, if... I get time tomorrow and I make something else tooled, then I'll stain that at the same time because, well, if I'm going to stain one thing, I can stain more than one and it's just as nice. Um, and then on the, let's see, we'll stain that. That'll take, we'll say, an hour. Uh, then it's, then part three would be stitching it. Uh, I am not going to hand stitch this. We'll throw this into the sewing machine. Um, I'm not going to hand stitch it. That's not what I do. Um, so we will throw this in the stitching in the sewing machine. We'll stitch it up. And, and sorry, I was looking at it and I forgot I actually had the camera on me. Um, so here's the, the finished for today. And uh, I'm going to have to get a picture of it and make a, a thumbnail of this. And then tomorrow. So tomorrow, about 7 o'clock, we'll go live. And we're going to do some uh, some staining tomorrow. So, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, keep turning. See ya.